So power is still out, which means the podcast is still down. With that said, I'm seriously considering changing the name of this YouTube channel to the Cam Dancer Fancast because dude made yet another sick play, and I get it's in practice. Why are we talking about practice? Listen, man, with COVID wiping out the preseason entirely, this is all we have to work with. Let us have it. Dude made a sick pick, uh, pass intended for BC Johnson, and you know what? Maybe it was a little underthrown by Kirk Cousins, not Cam Dancer's problem. And what I really like about this player, what he brings to the table talent-wise is contrast to Xavier Rhodes, peak Xavier Rhodes, 2016, arguably the best corner in the league, 2017, definitely the best corner in the league, relied on his size and his strength to basically jam dudes up at the line of scrimmage to legally battle his man to fight tooth and nail within those limited yards where you're legally able to do it before you have to let the hands up and let your receiver go. Basically forcing his man to stop and go, stop and go, throw his man off his route. So that sweet spot that the quarterback and the receiver were working on in practice, it's not there because the quarterback wants to throw here, but the receiver is still over here. Xavier Rhodes, he's staying in front of his man to make a play on the ball. Cam Dantzler... He's not going to use his size and his strength to uh, overpower his man. He's got the nickname, the needle for a reason. Cam Dantzler can flat out run with dudes. And if you look at his game film, uh, Mississippi State, the game speed is there. He is game fast. I don't need the combine to confirm that for me. So whether the 4 6 40 yard dash that he ran was due to the hamstring injury, like his agent said, or whether it's dude just had the jitters, I don't care. The combine, I've said this forever now, is a complete waste of time, which is funny because this brings me to, I found this on Chiefs Wire, that USA Today, the headline reads, three players that the Chiefs should take off their big board following the combine. Number three on their list, Mississippi State cornerback Cam Dantzler, quote, I know there are some folks out there that won't agree with me, but I wouldn't draft Dantzler after his combine performance. He ran a 464 40-yard dash, and there's plenty of data. You know how much I hate that word. There's plenty of data to suggest that he'd need to be an outlier to find success in the NFL with that mark. The only other measurable drill for Dantzler was the vertical jump, and he didn't even hit the average mark. Go back to that interception he made today. Dude had bounced for days, much like Anthony Harris. And if you take a screenshot, a still shot of the high point of that jump, I swear to God, you could park a car underneath of Cam Dancer. How's this vertical on that play there, ChiefsWire.USA today? And listen, for everyone out there that's a little bit timid and holding back, being a little bit reserved. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's just practice. I don't. I don't want to get my feelings involved. I don't want to. I, I feel excited, but I'm holding back. Hey, listen. Don't hold back. Let it happen. This isn't just hype. This is real. Cam Dancer is a beast. I'm all in on this dude. You should be too.